Hi everybody, this is Avro Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game Rust. Uh, Rust is a game that is poorly optimized, everybody knows about it. Uh, so I will show you how you can improve your FPS in three steps. First of all, uh, if you want to know where is the config file, it's pretty easy. Go to uh, Steam Library, Steam Haps, Common, Rust, CFG and open the um, the file called client.cfg use the edit with notepad++ and you will have all your config uh, option in here uh, first of all one option that you should put at zero straight up uh, just a second wow okay shadow mod make sure that this is at zero uh, this option is not inside of the game so it's only in the config file put it at zero you will see in my video i will open the game and shadow is a very important thing in um rust uh you need to remove uh, the shadow because it decreases a lot uh the performance of uh, your pc when you're running this game second um you can put it depends i didn't see an improvement on windows 10 but i see an improvement on windows 7 and 8.9 uh, 8.1 sorry uh Put a set launch option, okay? So use this one. Uh, CPU count four, because you, right now I'm using an i7-4790K, but it will depend on your CPU. So make sure do a research on the Intel website or AMD, you will have all the information and also the number of threads of your CPU. The last one that you need to use will be high because you need to set your uh, computer priority to high. So it's saying if you run ROS, make sure that all your resources are uh into the game to to run the game okay so let's open the game now so after all the um advice that i will give you if you still have some trouble to run the game you can run the game with direct x9 okay but you will miss a lot of like effect feature that you have in direct x uh, 11 or 10 or even 12 right now you can run it and experimental i don't recommend it uh you will lose fps if you use that one but for sure in the future it will be better because technically direct x 12 uh is supposed to uh run games better than 11 okay so i will run it normally with the play ross option so here you have first of all an option graphic quality uh, use fast if you want performance, but again right now I'm showing how to improve FPS I have a good PC so I can normally run this at good easily and get my 60 FPS no problem But I will show you a way like when you really want a performance and you will see on your side If you really need all the advice that I will give you or you will just use a couple to make sure that you get your 60 FPS So let's start this First of all, um, field of view. Field of view, uh, if you're using 65, uh, for sure your game is like kind of more zoomed in, okay? So you see less stuff, so you will render less stuff, okay? So you need less resources to do that. Uh, depending of if you really want to use uh, a field of view of 85, you can, use it, you can use it if you want, okay? But uh, it just, do that at the end after that you change all your graphic option and if you still have uh, some issue maybe you can lower your field of view after that graphic depth of field and bien occlusion make sure that it's at off you will maybe gain three to four fps for each bracket okay for those two uh anti-aliasing you can put that off because anti-aliasing um impact a lot of your performance but the problem with anti-aliasing you will see a big decrease in your image quality so use fx aa okay motion blur i did off you can maybe um sometimes you can gain fps sometimes you don't but i really don't enjoy the, that effect so that's why <laughs> i put uh, this one at off okay graphic quality is at one because i choose fast in the launch option when i start the game uh so uh they they do like default thing over there but i will show you what you need to use so those two add off shadow uh cascade make sure that you're not using anything all those shadow options just put it at off you will see a big increase in the fps if all the options uh, with shadows are at off or low okay you will gain 15 fps just to do that 
Water quality, uh, I put it at one. Honestly, I didn't see any difference between zero and one, and one is better, you get like a nice uh, well, qu graphic quality, so just put it at one. But reflection, really important, put it at zero. Decrease a lot of your FPS when you walk near water. The reflection needs a lot of res resources to, um, to uh, render uh, the reflection, so make sure that's at zero. Max shadow light, same thing, zero. Shader level, you will see kind of a, a big decrease in your image quality. So this one, you can put it at 300 if you want, but honestly, d t touch this one at the end. Just do the other thing that I'm telling you, like reflection, shadow, and stuff, and you can change your shadow shader level at the end. Draw distance, this is, this is a big one. For sure, if you put 500, you will gain like 40 FPS. It's crazy. But the thing is, draw descent is really important. You need to see further in front of you because you want, I don't know, maybe you have an enemy in front of you, etc. So this one impact your gameplay. So I'm not a big fan of uh, to reduce this one too much, but you can start with uh, 1,500. It's, it's okay. It's not great. But uh, again, make sure that you're doing all the shadow stuff before touching this one, okay? Shadow distance, really important, 50 minimum, okay? This one at 50, we're getting a lot of FPS. And those two, I don't touch it. Uh, performance, the last one, particle quality. This one, zero, really important. I see a big improvement over there, five to six FPS, really important. Object tree quality, you can move it, but I didn't see a big improvement on that part. And uh, also, it decreases a lot your visual quality, so don't touch it. Same thing with Terran. But grass quality, put it at 50, you will see a nice increase. Uh, because I saw like 100 to 50. I saw 6 to 7 uh, FPS, depending on the place I was in the map. But still, it uh, you will gain a nice, uh, a decent performance boost. The last one, decor quality. Uh, this one stay at 100 again. I don't want to decrease too much the visual of the game So uh, last resort you can change it, but don't touch it So that's about it guys First of all make sure that all your shadow reflection and all those kinds of stuff are, are at off Make sure that using a set launch option um, And worst case scenario run the game in direct X9 at the end if you really have some trouble to run it a lot of people have problem because they're using a laptop and the laptop is in balance or eco mode, okay? So um, they want to s the, the computer wants to save energy and it's not using your uh, CPU at maximum and even the, your GPU. So make sure that you're using the performance option, okay? Normally in the battery option uh, setup of Windows or even maybe your drivers, you can set up to performance and make sure that you're running this. Also in the BIOS, but BIOS is a little bit complicated for some people. And that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU, RAM, the option that you're use, currently using, and I will try to help you the best that I can. Don't forget to subscribe, and peace. Ciao, guys.